Creating compound clips in Final Cut Pro can really come in handy in a few different situations. The most obvious use for a compound clip is to group together items so you can add one effect to the whole group. Select your clips and create your compound clip. Give it a unique name and save it to a specific event for organizing. Then add a plugin to affect the whole group. You can use compound clips for better control of retiming. When you're using titles or generators that have built-in animations, often when you change their duration on the timeline, you're speeding up or slowing down those animations, and this can lead to unwanted effects. Simply create a compound clip, and you can shorten the out point without speeding up the building animation. Or for complete retiming control of one or more clips, create a compound clip and use blade speed and the retiming controls to ramp in and out of different speeds. Another problem that compound clips can solve is when mixing graphics and footage with different sizes or aspect ratios. Using this footage in a plugin that adjusts position and scale or uses drop zones can yield strange cropping and other undesired results. I use the plugin Gritty a lot to create grid layouts quickly. I create compound clips out of each piece of footage and then drop the effect on them. The plugin sees everything as the same size and there are no undesired results. Again, this technique is vital when using drop zone effects, like video walls or pre-composed animations. Create your compound clips first, then load them up in the drop zones, and there will be no problems. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.